Okay, now I get it. I can see why Skyrim Special Edition is one of the most played games on Steam Deck. This is absolutely gorgeous. And look at the frames per second here, as well as the wattage. This is on the high settings, and I'll go through those in a little bit more detail in just a second, but it just looks absolutely phenomenal. And for the most part, it does hold 60 frames per second. And I forgot just how crazy horses are in this game. Talk about a war horse, man, he really does go for them. Even in full out scenarios and fantastic finishing moves, forget how wide a variety that you get with Skyrim with the pick locking, the spells, the weapon crafting. There is just so many aspects to this game, whether you are a two-handed weapon specialist or whether you want to go all out mage, there is just so much to this game for you. On top of that, there are a ton of mods for this as well. I haven't started playing with them just yet, but most of them do work. So let's have a quick look at the settings here. I was running the high default settings. I did play this on medium as well, and there is a bit of a quality difference but there is a huge difference in the battery and wattage percentage, so I'll go over that in just a second. As you can see here, everything is on high. Apart from that, God Ray's quality is medium and 64-bit textures is off by default. And pretty much everywhere in the game, even when all hell was breaking loose in battle, it does hold an extremely flat rate, 60 frames per second. And you can see inside a lot of the time, our wattage is only around 15 watts, which means we will be getting up to three hours battery life, depending on how much time you spend outside. Because as you can see here, going through some of the towns and with lots of foliage and some long distance rendering, it does put that wattage up to between 25 and 28. And we see those frames drop down into the 50s just slightly and temporarily. So you are going to get a good two hours at least on the battery life even on these high settings now if you did want to drop it down to the medium settings then you will get that 60 pretty much flat rate permanently and will extend your battery life up to around three hours so depending on how often and how long you're going to play your sessions here and how far away from power i would still recommend keeping this on the default high and enjoying your playthrough. I've had over seven hours already on this. I just can't get enough. I played around 20 hours in the original and completed the main storyline, but I think I'm going to be playing through again on the special edition, and I might play about with some mods if there is enough interest, and I'll cover that in the video. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see us look at some of the Skyrim mods on Steam Deck and see how that affects the performance as well. If you didn't catch it previously, you can have a look at our most played Steam Deck games for the year of 2022. And if you haven't leveled up your deck yet, then you can check out our Decky Loader video for the best plugins on Steam Deck. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.